Good day. All. Welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel, where today we have for your viewing pleasure a 1974 Volkswagen Beetle. And boy, it is a sharp one. Tons of eyeball to be had on this car. Lots of little extras that make this really cool look. First off, the paint. This car has been resprayed in a pearl type white paint, uh, which is a really good quality paint job. It was done a while back from what we can tell, uh, but very nice look to it. Quality paint job. Lots of nice bright work. You'll notice there the spine on the hood looks great. And these headlights are so cool. They've got the cat's eye separation. They got the eyebrows. They got beautiful trim rings on them. Look how nice those are. Stunning look. And when you catch it all together from the front end, that is a spectacular looking VW front end. Now, since a VW is a little different than a normal car, I'm actually gonna open the front end while I'm up here, and I don't normally do that. And what we've got in the front trunk is a really nice full-size spare with a VW hubcap on a rally-style rim, a factory jack, and some nice hook and loop carpeting that's been fitted into place up front. So a nice, clean, tidy compartment up there. And clean and tidy describes this whole car. It is in excellent condition. We have a folder full of receipts for work done on this car all the way back to 1985. As you see on the sides, we've got some more continued nice chrome trim. You'll find it running the whole length of the car on this little seam, as well as your side view mirror, door handle. Running boards are super solid, real solid, like you can stand on them solid. With a nice new black matting on it, and you'll see the, uh, for lack of a better word, I'll call them fender gaskets, uh, are in new condition. Uh, so nice there in terms of the separation of body panels. EMPI eight spoke wheels with disc brakes on all four corners behind them. Super, super nice. Also, another upgrade. It's got Mastercraft Redline tires on it and they are almost new. They're dated to 2022 have all kinds of tread left on them. They are ready to hit the road. One thing you can't miss on this bug is the really, really cool luggage rack with wood slats up top. It's in great condition. It's easy to get on and off the car. And it offers a lot more storage space. And even if you're not storing things up there, it's just a darn cool look. As you can see, the stance is lowered slightly from how it would normally be on a VW. But ride quality is still excellent on the car. As we move around the back, you'll see the iconic elephant foot tail lights that came on in 1974, as well as a vented trunk lid. And again, out of order for how things are in terms of our normal operation with the videos, we're gonna go ahead and open the trunk now, which is where the 1776cc engine lies. And you'll see that it is a clean, detailed engine bay everything has been gone over lots of new parts in here everything exceptionally clean and it's all topped off with a nice little chrome air cleaner again look at the level of detail and cleanliness here in the engine bay it is a spectacular car as we move around the side You'll see that the passenger side is every bit as nice as the driver's. Lightly tinted windows, and these are non-pop-out rear windows, so they are stationary. They did make VWs that had uh, the windows on the rear would pop out slightly. These do not. They are stationary. And again, no rust, no bubbles. Nice looking car. The floor pans underneath. I can't wait to show you the pictures. You just scroll through the undercarriage pictures will be the last ones in our string of photographs of the car and you'll see the floor pans are in excellent shape on this as well as the underside of the engine it's as clean as the top side of the engine and we're not done yet as we open up the driver's door and look inside there is a simply stunning red black and plaid interior in this car it is an eye grabber for sure really really nice combination i'm stoked about this interior 
great looking door panels. You can see here armrests with no real signs of use, nice little black handles to match, some aftermarket window cranks, and a nice little storage bag for your carry-on items. As we look at these seats, you'll see they show no signs of wear. They are in great condition. They are comfortable to sit in and they are definitely unique. That same pattern of black, red, and plaid continues on into the rear where we do have a full-size rear seat with seat belts. And back in the rear storage compartment, we've got a couple of six by nine speakers mounted in custom made boxes. And you'll see that it's carpeted as well back here with the same black hook and loop carpet that runs throughout the car. Headliner, nice and tight, white vinyl in good condition. I'm move on inside of this beautiful bug. And the first thing that grabs my mind is what I'm gonna grab. And that is this nice aftermarket leather wrapped steering wheel with the Wolfsburg logo in the center. Unfortunately, there is no horn. It doesn't beep when you push on it but the Wolfsburg Castle looks great. And the hand feel of this wheel is spectacular. Uh, normal VW wheels are much thinner. This gives you a nice hand grip on it. Really a nice upgrade. As far as features go in a bug, there's not a lot of features to be had. It's a simple 100 mile an hour speedometer, a fuel gauge, a uh, light for gen, a light for oil, and your odometer. And that's pretty much where it stops with a Volkswagen. This one does have operational two-speed wipers, but is a heater delete car. Uh, so if you look down, the heater controls would be on either side of the uh, emergency brake there, and they are not. Although I've owned a VW, a 74 myself, drove it all the way through college, and the heater was so non-functional in these anyhow that it really didn't matter. One nice amenity that has been added is this AM FM Retrosound stereo that pumps through those six by nines in the back. It does have an auxiliary input and USB input, both located in the glove box to the right. Let's see here, there is a shift pattern on the dash, just in case you forget where your gears are, but it's the typical push down, move to the left and pull back towards your reverse that's on all these VW bugs from this era. The sound of the exhaust on this car is amazing. It lets you know that it's got a little spunk to it. I'm excited to have you hear it. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and push in the clutch, tap the gas a couple times, and fire this up. Nice cold start for that little 1776cc engine. Hear that rumble. Here's the uh, stereo, we'll get some music on. So as you can see, stereo works great, just as it should. Oh yeah, what a VW! It's a cold day here and it's still stuck in high idle for a minute, but it's got a nice aggressive tone coming out of those tailpipes. What a bug. Folks, it's a 74, 74 Volkswagen Beetle here at Cruising Classics. Give us a call at 614, there we go, 276-7355. The high idle just kicked down to a normal idle, so you can hear me speak. We can help you with financing. We can help you with transport. We can answer any questions about the bug you'd like. Just give us a ring. Here in Columbus at Cruising Classics, we're at 614-276-7355. Look forward to hearing your call. Thank you for joining us again today. We'll be back again tomorrow with something else cool.